POC network here with a nice close up unboxing of the Easy Dock 3 from Kingwin. Uh, what this is is a, a, um, a hard drive duplicator and docking device for your computer. So basically, this connects to the computer via USB, and you can take an internal hard drive for any kind of computer or laptop or an SSD or anything and plug it into this, and it'll immediately be seen on the computer as an external device. So in case you have an internal drive hanging around somewhere and so you don't want to reboot Windows or anything to get into it, you just plop it in here, plug in your USB cable, and you're ready to go. Um, the, uh, the other, the, and well, the biggest benefit to something like this is its cloning abilities, to be able to clone from one drive to the next, so that way you, you don't have to install any kind of software and get you know too creative uh, or carried away with, you know, uh, 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 completing such process. Uh, in the past, it's always been you have to turn out or you know turn off your computer, shut down Windows, go in there, install the hard drives, install some kind of software out there that's that's specifically for hard drive cloning and/or data transfer between drives, and then boot it up, and hopefully it works, and maybe it doesn't. Then you got to try again, and Windows is constantly rebooting, and you know possibly if it's an OS drive or you don't have to do that on this. Uh, you know, worst case scenario, you're shutting down Windows once and rebooting it if it's a system drive, and if it's not a system drive, you don't have to worry about it at all. Just turn those pesky little internal drives into an external hard drive and you're ready to go. So that nice little rundown of uh, what it is and what it's supposed to do, um, it you know, starts us off. Now we're gonna take a look inside to see what the device looks like with a nice close-up of all the various different features of it. So I've already taken off the plastic from the box, so just, that way we can just bounce right into Getting into things here. Immediately once you open the box, you have a little card that says, hey, you satisfied? Let us know. If you have any complaints, uh, let us know. So hopefully you have the smiley face and not the not so smiley face. By reading, or excuse me, viewing this video, you are more than likely gonna have less of a chance of having a frowny face and more of a, hey, I get it, and it works really well face. So that aside, after that you have your instruction manual that is going to kind of just give you some details of what all the various different features are. Uh, it's a little fold out. Uh, it's real simple, real short, real sweet, and has nice little diagrams in there. So it tells you, you know, hey, insert drive here, insert other drive here. You know, it could be 3.5 inch, which is a regular drive for a computer, or it could be a 2.5 inch drive, which is, you know, regular for laptops or SSDs. And then all the various different parts and pieces in terms of how the USB connects and whatnot. But we're gonna go over that, so we're, we're not gonna do that using the instructions. Next off, or up, you have the actual device itself. We're gonna pop it out of its bubble wrap. And this is the Easy Dock 3, again, from Kingwin. And it's, you know, it's, it has a nice good size to it. And it's definitely, it, it feels like a solid build. Um, about as solid as any other uh, dock or, or drive uh, solution out there, at least. It, uh, basically, um, you know, it, it work. It functions connected to the computer, like I said, and it and it functions by itself, which we'll go over in the review once one of our authors sits down with this. But we'll go over all the features first, and then we'll dive into what else is in the box. But right in the front, it's just a logo. Um, it, uh, towards the front, on the top side, you have your LED indicators. You have for power, hard disk one axis and hard disk two, which you know it's like your hard disk a hard disk access LED on your computer. So when it's being read, you'll see this light flickering. Uh, the sides don't have anything, and the back side, this is where your USB port is. This again, this is not required. Uh, USB is just for accessing the hard drive from your computer, and using this as a, an external uh, bay device for those drives. Um, the clone button, this is what you're going to use to be able to clone the two drives. So if you have two drives inserted in here, regardless if this is plugged into USB or not, you just press that. In most cases, I haven't, hold, I haven't read the instructions because this is the first time we've opened this, but in most cases, you have to hold this button down to trigger cloning, and usually you'll get some kind of indication here showing that that mode has been enabled. And, you know, all you need at that point is for this to be powered in via the wall and uh, the two hard drives will just start cloning directly from the device itself. So that makes this really good for operating system drives. So if you have a C drive and you're wanting to uh, clone it to a new C drive, let's say you want to go from a 3.5 inch to a 2.5 inch uh, solid state hard drive, you can easily do that. Your regular hard drive is going to push this little thing down so it can take up this whole section and then your 
your destination, uh, or actually your source is right here. So the big hard drive would be up here, the larger size, 3.5 inch, and your 2.5 inch SSD would fit in here. This would not push down in that case, it would fit right into this gap. And then it would clone from one device to the next, or a drive to the next, and then you can shut down your computer, swap the drives in your computer. Of course, at this point, actually, you probably already shut down your computer since your, desk, your source drive is right here. So, um, But once you get the new drive into your computer, reboot it, hopefully Windows would be, or whatever your operating system may be, should be hopefully right back to where it was, only on the new drive. And in some cases, some scenarios, you might have to answer a few questions to, to uh, refresh Windows to make sure that you still have it or you're using a valid key. But beyond that, that's it. So, um, so again, the USB is for external access of hard drives. Using your, this as an external device for those drives to turn them into an external drive that doesn't require having to shut down Windows just to install. You just plug it in, plug it into the computer, and you're able to access the information on these drives, both drives. Uh, this area in the middle is just a little fan release for air, for hot air, heat. Uh, this is your DC in, so this is your power, which is going to be plugged into the wall, and of course, your power button. It's a really simple device, and again, your, your source drive, which means your original drive would be in the back, and your destination, which is where you're copying it to, is going to be in the front. And you, this will take both 3.5 and 2.5. So we're going to go ahead and move on and see what else is in the box. You have a USB 3.0 cable right here for connecting it to the computer. You have your power cable. This is so you can plug it into the wall for power. And then your brick, which converts it from this cable to plugging into the device itself. And that's it. So in all of this, you have your, hey, are you satisfied or are you not satisfied card. So you can uh, reach out to them for any kind of tech support that you may need, any kind of questions that you might have about the device. You have your instruction manual that talks about the device and gives you a rundown, a nice diagram of what everything is on here, exactly what I just showed you. You have your USB cable for attaching it to the computer, and that's it, and of course, the device. Uh, the, uh, again, just to, to emphasize on it, this works with or without being plugged into the computer. You don't need the USB cable. It can be plugged directly into the wall and just be uh, just used as a cloner to get information from one drive to the next. That does not limit you just to um, your operating system drives. It can be any drive. It's just, you know, it's best to have a sector to sector clone when you're doing uh, your operating system drive. So devices like these really come in a lot of handy for that. Now the, um, again, you know, we're gonna save uh, the details in terms of how it performs for the review. That's when we, our team sits down with it and, and uh, diagnoses how well it performs under such certain situations. But I can definitely tell you that the price point of this, as long as this performs up to par to any other typical docking or um, a cloning solution, the price of this really places it into a major bargain um, area since it's, this does not cost as much as some of the more higher priced units. Uh, the prices of these can go anywhere between $35, $40 to like $100 or $200. And as long as this can perform to the speeds and everything else, the expectation of those drives, this is a major buy for you and definitely something that we'd recommend. But again, I can't exactly say that completely since we haven't tested it out yet, but that was a scenario uh, or just a um, uh, one scenario uh, in terms of an outcome that can come from that testing. So uh, what you're going to want to do is go to pocnetwork.net forward slash blog and go see what our authors say about it when this, uh, the review is actually posted for this device on the website. We'll break it down. We'll give you some details, how fast we think it performs, and uh, uh, if we think it lives up to um, uh, the competition and, and then compare the same way via price. So again, if it competes just as well as any of the other competing uh, hubs or docks, excuse me, uh, then this would be, again, like I said, a great buy because of the price. So again, this is the Easy Dock 3. It's a USB 3.0 external dock slash hard drive duplicator. And it's by Kingwin, K-I-N-G-W-I-N. And again... Just to emphasize once more, for the full review, go to pocnetwork.net forward slash blog so you can hear or at least read all of our babble about how much we like or do not like it. So, thanks for watching. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. 
click it.